keep going to verse 15 of Genesis 6 because here's another facet. Salvation also changes our whole view of life. And the Lord said, this is how you'll make it, the ark. The length of the ark shall be 300 cubits, and the width 50 cubits, and the height 30 cubits. And if you use a 2-foot cubit, 24-incher, that meant it was 600 feet long, 100 feet wide, 60 feet high. If you use an 18-incher, then it was 450 by 75 by 45. What's amazing is not the size, but the proportion and, and they have done a lot of studies with this that, that it would take more than a 200-foot wave to, to tip something like this over. And there were some pretty big waves during the flood. And so God perfectly designed the right measurements. But keep reading. Then it continues saying this, And you shall make a window for the ark. You shall finish it to a cubit, look at this, from above. The, don't worry about how, what the window looked like. God described it in one way. You are going to have it be a window that is from above, that, that you are, that is at the top of this ark. Now think about what he was saying. Every detail of the ark was planned by God for a purpose. He said to Noah, make a window above. God wanted them to look up toward him, toward their deliverer, not downward at the wrath and judgment. That's why they had to keep sending birds out to see what was going on out there. They were not really looking at the death and destruction and carnage and all the bloated, floating dinosaur bodies out in all the weed masses that were floating around them. They weren't looking at that. They were looking above. It's interesting how salvation changes our whole perspective. We are to look up at our Deliverer and Savior. We don't spend our lives looking down at our declining days, our decaying world. Paul says this. Here's another verse, Colossians 3. The first two verses, Paul said this in Colossians chapter 3, verses 1 and 2. Since you were raised with Christ, seek those things above where Christ is sitting at the right hand of God. Verse 2, set your mind on things above, not on things in the earth. Salvation gives us a whole new perspective in life. We're not looking down and seeing how feeble and, and waning we are. We're looking up. And we see where we're headed and what God is doing and what he's promised. And that's the writer of Hebrews put it this way. It says, these all died in faith, not having obtained the promises, but having seen them afar off. You see, we live looking with a window above. We have a whole new perspective on life. Uh, Now let's go to chapter 7, because uh, verse 1. Because I want you to see the fifth aspect of salvation. Number one, salvation is divine. Number two, in verse 14, salvation is giving us perfect rest, those little rooms, the nesting places. Number three, salvation deals with sin. It protects us from God's wrath. That's the pitch in verse 14. Uh, Number four, salvation in verses 15, the end there, changes our whole view in life. We get a, a window looking up instead of down. But this is the most beautiful one. Look at verse one of chapter seven. Salvation is by invitation only. Salvation is by invitation only. Verse 1, And the Lord said to Noah, Come into the ark, you and all your household, because I've seen you're righteous before me in this generation. Did you catch what just happened in verse 1? God invited Noah and his family into the ark. Did you catch that? If I'm standing at the front door of my house, just inside the door, and I open it, and someone's standing outside, and I say, come in, where am I? You see, God was already in the ark. Salvation is God inviting us in. It's an amazing picture if you think about it. God did not command them. By the way, this is the very first time come is found in God's Word. Although it appears 500 other times in the rest of God's Word, it was come, first time used in the Bible, which was an invitation in this verse. It's not go, which would have been a command. Did you know if you've truly been born again, God invited you into Christ, and God is the one, we'll see in verse 16, shuts the door behind you so you don't fall out during the flood? Amazing picture. We don't deserve the invitation or the security God gives. We don't deserve anything. The ark is such a beautiful picture of salvation because our security is in the invitation. God invites us to Christ and God seals and holds us in Christ. Those who come to Christ, he never loses. 
Remember, all the Father gives me will come to me, and I will not lose any, Jesus said in John chapter 6. This invitation also implies coming into the place where the Lord already was. The ark was a place of security because the designer and architect of salvation was himself present in the ark with its occupants. When, when Noah finished building that thing, he was outside, and all of a sudden he heard God's voice say, Noah, come in and bring your family. And he went, wow, the God who told me to make this is in it. And Noah went up that ramp with his family and went into the ark with the architect and designer himself. Another verse to write down, John six thirty seven. It says this, Gospel of John chapter 6, verse 37, All that the Father gives me will come to me, and the one who comes to me I will in no means cast out. What a beautiful verse of assurance and invitation. That, that salvation is by invitation, and, and that God initiates salvation. Remember, it's divine, and we come to him. And what a blessing that is. Remember those pitiful words of Christ's disciples when they cried out, Lord, save us, we perish. Remember, they were out in the boat, and Jesus went to sleep on the cushion in the front of the boat. He was tired, and the storm came up, and the waves started rising, and they said, Lord, save us, we're drowning. You know what they hadn't realized? That you can't drown when the Lord's in your boat. Think about that. That's the same thing Noah learned as he went through all. Can you imagine the upheavals that were, and, and all the sounds and the horrible horrible sounds of death and destruction around you. And here you are in this wooden thing, not even steel. But the Lord was in the ark with him. When God invited Noah and his family into the ark, they were safe. And once they were in, God shut them in so they were secure as well. 